Okay, year seven. So today we're going to talk about separating liquids. So you've got a minute or two just to jot down today's title and think about what the term immiscible means. When you've finished this, please unpause the video. Okay, so when we're thinking about liquids, they can either mix, which means that they are miscible, or we might have two liquids that do not mix. And that word, that key word is immiscible. So what I would like you to do is to jot down those two definitions in your exercise book. And if you're speedy, you can try the looking ahead task. Okay. So the first type of mixture that we're going to look at separating is a mixture of two or more immiscible liquids and we use a piece of apparatus called a separating funnel so you've got a picture here that shows you what a separating funnel looks like okay and how that works is if you've got if the liquids have different densities the more dense liquid will sink to the bottom and we can open up that tap at the bottom to let that lower layer out so just to recap from your physics lessons, density equals the mass per unit volume of a substance. So we can just think of it as how heavy a liquid is in comparison to another. OK, now when those two liquids are in the separating funnel, you'll see a line where the two liquids meet. And we call that line the interface. Got a bit too far there. Okay, so what I would like you to do now, Year 7, is in your exercise book, if you could draw a diagram of the separating funnel. And remember, when we're drawing scientific diagrams, we're only drawing them 2D, so flat on the paper. So pause this video and do your diagram. Okay. So that's pretty much it for separating two liquids that are immiscible or not mixable. Now, what you can do at home after this lesson, you could try and make a lava lamp. So I've got all of the instructions you need here. But what's really, really important is because at the moment it's quite difficult to get things in the supermarket. Just make sure you've asked your parents before you use their oil and other items that are on the list here. OK, the second part of this lesson is we're going to talk about separating miscible liquids. So that's liquids that mix together. So I've got a picture on the screen of wine, which is a mixture of ethanol and water. I want you to just think about if you can think of any more mixtures that contain two or more miscible liquids. OK, so what I would like you to do now is to click on the video link that's on the PowerPoint. And this is a very short video with a Robinson Crusoe character, and he's making drinking water for, from some really um, unsuitable water, so some seawater. So what I would like you to do is watch the video and explain how um, Robinson Crusoe made his fresh drinking water from the seawater. And the key words I want you to use in your explanation are in red. So pause the video and I want you to watch the Robinson Crusoe video and write your explanation. OK, so hopefully you've had a chance to do that. Year seven. So I've got a rough answer at the bottom there. So if you can just compare your answer to that, checking that you've put all of the key points. OK, so in chemistry, we're a little bit more high tech than Robinson Crusoe, but we use all of the same principles that he used in that video. So we use evaporation, 
and we use condensation and we use collection and we use the apparatus that's on your screen which is quite exciting really it'll be really good to do that when we go back to school okay so the process is called simple distillation and distillation has three steps like i said before evaporation and that's where the mixture of two liquids is heated so that one of them evaporates and it turns into a gas the second step so if we go back to that diagram we'll see that there is a piece of apparatus called a condenser and what a condenser is is a glass piece of apparatus with water flowing through it so the water goes in at the bottom out at the top so it's constantly filled with cold water so what happens is when your hot gas goes up into the condenser it cools back down into a liquid and it can then be collected now when your second liquid boils then it will do the exact same thing so a brief description of this is in page 61 in your textbook so here's the diagram again and now not only can simple distillation be used to separate mixtures of miscible liquids but also it can be used to separate a liquid and a soluble solid so what will happen is the liquid will evaporate and then it will condense and you'll leave behind the solid now in this diagram there are lots of new pieces of equipment so you've got the condenser that i described before you often have to put anti-bumping granules into your flask and that stops the mixture from spitting so if you think about um if you think about using hot oil in a pan sometimes it starts to spit that might happen to the mixture if you don't add the anti anti-bumping granules you've got a round bottom flask here which is similar to a conical flask except that it's round and you've got all of the other equipment here that you are used to seeing so you've got tripod bunsen burner gauze etc now the liquid that comes out and is collected we call that the distillate so that's a new key word year seven a new key word okay so what i would like you to do i'm just going to go back to this screen here i would like you to draw this scientific diagram in your exercise books and then unpause the video and carry on Okay, so hopefully you've all managed to draw that diagram in your exercise book. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to watch the following video, which kind of discusses simple distillation again in a bit more, just in a, in a different way and in a bit more detail. And I want you to answer the questions on, on the worksheet, which is in the Firefly folder. And the worksheet looks like this screenshot. Okay, 